My name is Lisa Hodomarski. I am the Sutphin Family Curator of Prints and Drawings at the Yale University Art Gallery and co-curator of the exhibition Reckoning with the Incident, John Wilson's Studies for a Lynching Mural. This exhibition brings together nearly all of the known studies for a no longer extant mural painted by Wilson in Mexico City in 1952, a destination to which he traveled to learn traditional fresco technique under the famed Mexican muralists active at mid-century. The word fresco is derived from the Italian adjective meaning fresh. The process involves working wet on wet, applying powdered pigments mixed in water onto wet plaster, a technique which in essence fuses the pigment into the plaster and produces a composition that appears dimensional with a depth of color and form. Given the typically larger than life size, in this case approximately 10 by 12 feet, a fresco mural is read not at once, but in a series of vignettes that lead the eye one to the other, into and across the composition. Thus, while our eyes can gather the overall subject and mood of a fresco at first glance, it is through the flow of details that we truly read a mural. An avid student of the Mexican muralists, Wilson took this lesson as his springboard. He likely began by sketching out his overall composition, sketches which no longer survive, and then honed in on perfecting each moment through a series of detailed studies in Conte crayon, charcoal, and graphite. Here, the splayed fingers of a hand on a knee. Here, the frayed end of a severed noose. The exposed flesh of the bottom of a foot. The worried profile of a witness. The sheer number of studies Wilson created for his mural point to the passion and seriousness with which he approached the project. In their assuredness and immediacy of stroke, alternately with the tip or the side of his stick of crayon or chalk to describe contour or flesh, Wilson's studies were clearly composed relatively quickly and on sheets of inexpensive, unevenly trimmed paper, likely cut haphazardly from a roll. When viewed together on an exhibition wall, one is taken by their laser focus on human expression, on how clearly Wilson understood the forceful and effective role that each singular gesture can play in portraying a narrative. The fear conveyed through a mother's eyes, an arm drawn protectively across a torso, the splayed taut fingers of a hand in crisis, of particular interest are the sheets that feature double drawings or pairings, such as this one, picturing two fists side by side, one black, one white, clutch, clutching gun barrels. Such pairings translate as effective juxtapositions and often oppositions, both physical and psychological, in Wilson's finished mural. Contrasting protection with aggression, exposure with concealment, Nurture with murder. New life with new death. Humanity with inhumanity. Now 68 years since its creation and accessible only through these studies and black and white documentary photographs, John Wilson's The Incident is a timely and timeless reminder of the histories and ongoing realities of racial violence and terror in this country. It serves as a testament to the power of art to deeply move us, as a spur that compels us forward to confront the legacies of lynching with which America continues to grapple to this day.